Congratulations, you now own an Orbit Sprinkler Timer, legendary for dependability and ease of use. This tutorial will focus on the programming features of the Orbit Easy Set Logic Timer. These sprinkler timers use Easy Set Logic technology, making them the easiest to program timers on the market. Let's get started. The timer being used in this video is a six station model, but the programming helps apply to all Easy Set Logic timers. Make sure your timer is plugged in. The timer battery alone will not operate the valves in your sprinkler system. Programming is accomplished by turning the dial counterclockwise and following these steps. First, we'll set the clock to the current time. Turn the dial to Set Clock. Use the plus and minus buttons to navigate up or down. Hold down the buttons to scroll more quickly to the desired time. Pay particular attention to the AM and PM. Now that you've set the current time, turn the dial to the next position, Set Date. First, set the correct year by pressing the plus and minus buttons. Press the right arrow button and use the same process to set the correct month. Use the right arrow one more time and set the correct day of the month. Now you are finished setting the date and are ready to start setting the timer program. All Orbit Easy Set Logic Timers have three programs and multiple start times. To keep it simple, to begin with, we are only going to focus on Program A with a single start time. If you would like to learn more about multiple programs and start times, these features will be covered in the Advanced Programming video, linked at the end of this video. Turn the dial to Start Time. Please note, only one start time is needed to run all of your stations or zones. Use the plus and minus buttons to set the start time, which is the time you would like your first station to begin watering. All other stations or zones will water sequentially for their set runtime. We will set the runtimes next. Turn the dial to Runtime. You will need to set a watering duration for each station you would like watered. To do this, press the plus or minus buttons until you reach the desired number of watering minutes. Each station on your Easy Dial timer can be programmed to water from 1 up to 240 minutes. When the desired duration is displayed on the screen, press the right arrow button to advance to the next station. Repeat this process for all stations you would like watered. If three dashes are showing on the screen for a station, then no duration has been set and it will not water. With your start time and run time set, the final step is to tell your timer how often to water. Turn the dial to How Often. You can set the timer to water on specific days of the week, odd or even calendar days, or you can set it to water in intervals. To water on specific days of the week, use the arrow buttons to toggle between days and press Enter for each of the desired days. A square will appear around the days you have selected. To water on odd or even calendar days, use the arrow buttons to toggle to odd or even and press Enter. Instead of watering on specific days of the week or on odd or even calendar days, Interval watering allows you to specify the number of days between waterings. For example, if today is Monday and you set an interval of three days, the next watering day would be Thursday. Please note, if your start time occurs later than the time you complete programming, it will water the same day. For example, if you are programming your timer at noon and your start time is 7 p.m., your timer will water today. Congratulations! You have now completed the programming of your Orbit Easy Set Logic Sprinkler Timer. Turn the dial to Auto for your timer to run its scheduled program. Your scheduled watering will only run when the dial is in the Auto position. The timer will flash the next watering time on the screen when it is within 24 hours of watering. Turn the dial to Off to stop all watering. The timer will maintain your set programming while the timer is set to Off.